Okay. He said, yeah, man, this is going to be a game changer. This is the wave of the future. He does not even comprehend that these are filters being put on the photographs. Okay? This is the original. And this is the one that's been enhanced and whatever else he calls it. Okay? Nice, clear skin. Of course, it looks like they added some extra lines or a tattoo to the guy's finger that he didn't really have. Okay? Let's look at this one here. I don't know what they did to this poor guy's hand. Now, let's see here. Smoothed him out. Okay. But let's look at this poor man back here. This is the original. Let me back it up, okay? So you're going to tell me, man, this is what he really looks like? This is what we've uncovered? He really looks like that? Come on, dude. Stop playing with this community. There, let's go back to this other one that I did. Because King Von be looking like a cartoon character. Okay? They're filters. I can tell you right now, this is my niece. And this is not even close to what she's supposed to look like. That is not the shape of her lips. And you can tell that from here. They added these shapes. They've added shape to her nose. They've added shape to her eyes. I don't know about this old man here. What I can tell you is that this all looks cartoonish. Now, I got this off of your live. Again, cash looks like cartoonish type of filter. But let's look at poor Quan's eye. What they done did to Quan's face and eye. So is that what he really looks like? That's what Rosemont's covering up? Well, let's go on down here to your other stuff. Remember how you were posting this stuff saying that, that this was uh, Jesus Lopez or Jorge Lopez, whatever his name is. So let's get a good look at them up close. It's a filter of what the application assumes or opinions that it's gonna be if it was cleared up. Does it make it real? Does not make it real. at all. You can tell it is filterized. I don't even know the proper terminology, but that's what it is. It's got filters on it. And that's what you're doing with this stuff. Now this is from your stuff. You said you used your program to pull out demons out of Bree Bree's face, but then when I took her demons, and put them in this Topaz software. Now what? Huh? Look at the little kid and the mom. It's funny how you were only picking and choosing which ones you wanted to show. That ain't what he looked like on the footage when he was in the lobby. She looks like she got a baby face, chair face. 
Let's see where we're going. Bree Bree. Did we not get that? Let's see. So you're going to tell me that Bree Bree's a demonic beaver. And you said Shemaiah came out to different white women. No, I wouldn't call those white women. I call those filters that the system just assumed is what Free Free would be looking like. I mean, Shemaiah would be looking like. It's not really what she looks like, is it? Unless she's got some kind of demonic eyeball happening here. There we go. No, they didn't cut and paste. You did. You know, like over there in uh, on the footage in the, by the lobby over there. So these two should be identical. Yeah, so she looks like she's back in elementary school, right? Okay. So they had some little girl that they were using to pretend to be Kanika. That's what you want us to believe. Yeah, man. And that her eyes was so busted, it was swollen shut. But it didn't look that way in none of the crime scene photos. Didn't look that way whenever her mother saw her body. But you said so. You saying that they had copied and pasted and putting stuff on here. No, sir. It's called you playing with a software application. And trust me, I went and watched the tutorials. And like it says, they're filters. That's what they are. They're filters. So I guess if we're to believe what you're saying in your video about Rosemont and Crown Plaza, then that must mean that they must have came and punched somebody's daddy in the eye right here. Swole his eyes shut. Or they came back and cropped it and pasted it over somebody's daddy's eye. That's what you want us to believe, right? See, I'm intelligent enough to know that that circle around that eye is the reflection from the lens of his glasses. Yeah, it's a game changer, man. No. That's your warning to the community that you're fixing to really start corrupting her case with all your bogus nonsense that you're trying to inject into it. And I really wish people in this community would start standing up and calling you out on it. So if you people in the Kanika community call yourselves supporters of Kanika Jenkins and seeking justice, supporting her family, whatever. And this is the kind of shenanigans that y'all support. How do you think Kanika really feels about that? I'm just wondering. Because anybody, even with double-digit IQs, should be able to tell that this man is either so slow and believes what he's saying, or he's that conniving and knows what he's saying to be false. Either way, 
It's misinformation and lies being put out on the deceased. I wonder how he would feel if somebody started lying on his deceased family members. Of course, from what I've seen, telling the truth about his live family members is exposure enough. The man can't tell the truth. It's not part of his hustle because he can't get no money that way. 